Hi, thank you, Mr. Keen, for being here tonight. My name is Julia Conrad, and I'm a senior at the college. And when I graduate, I will be a classroom teacher. And I have a lot of concerns about the NRA's recommendation to increase the number of armed officials within our public schools. And I'm curious if you would say that given that so many teachers and researchers alike agree that the presence of guns within schools negatively hurts the ability of children to learn, do you think that the right to hold a gun for Americans is more important than the right for our children to learn? Well, the two things are not related. We expressed an interest very, very early on. Uh, it, it just by coincidence, when Newtown happened in Connecticut, the next morning I was in Israel, and I was touring a facility where they train security guards for their schools. Uh, in the 70s, in the 60s and 70s, they had a whole spate of, of school shootings in Israel, mostly by people who listened to different crazy voices than some of our crazy people. But the effect was the same. Initially, what happened is veterans came forward as volunteers to protect the schools. Ultimately, that transformed itself into a system where each school has to look to its own security, and they use private security forces, not military and not police. And virtually all schools in, in Israel have this. Uh, when we got back here and suggested that because you cannot, no matter how well you screen, no matter how, you, even if we were able to reconstruct the mental health care system in a way that provided treatment, you can't always predict, you can't always catch the people who might do something like this. So that security made sense. The initial reaction, as John will remember, was people said, you're insane. Then we pointed, I pointed out, as did Wayne, that while well, 30,000 schools have armed protection, uh, a program that was really begun by Bill Clinton, then defunded, and the states and localities picked it up, but there are 135,000 schools. And what we suggested was that in every school, uh, the teachers, the administration, the parents, and the local authorities ought to talk about what is appropriate for that school and decide what kind of, uh, what kind of uh, security they needed. In his statement, uh, the president, after deriding the idea, announced that, well, he was willing uh, to pay for another thousand resource officers for schools. That doesn't solve the problem. But the fact of the matter is that we protect jewelry stores, we protect banks, we protect sports stadiums, we protect a lot of different places. Uh, and if our kids are as important as I think they should be, why don't we protect them? Let me, let me try a little exercise before I take the next question. Stay by just one second. One of the things you learn if you do what I do for a living and you travel to all 50 states over the years is that this is a very interesting, complicated 50-piece puzzle we have in this country. So uh, some of you have strongly held views. Uh, if you travel the country, you might find that uh, people disagree with you, which is one of the reasons I ask for respect <laughs> in the conversation. I just want to show a show of hands. <laughs> yeah, I just want to show if it would be, well, it would be pretty boring. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> you couldn't have cable television. Um, I'd like a show of hands if you or from a household where somebody has, in your lifetime, owned a gun? Raise your hand. Mm -hmm. That's right. The national figure is about 47% right. of households. If, if, if you believe that no one should be able to purchase a handgun or a rifle, raise your hand. 